It's like a giant fish tank filter, and it's clearing out some of the likely carcinogen flowing from Michigan's first known PFAS site. The question is, would that same system being used at a former Air Force base work on Wolverine Worldwide's PFAS that is spreading through northern Kent County? Target 8 investigator Ken Colker and photojournalist Bilal Kurdi traveled to Oscoda looking for an answer. Yeah, Brian and Marley at the former Wordsmith Air Force Base, the U.S. government spent $3 million on a filter system targeting just one of, one of many PFAS hotspots. This is a brand new activated carbon. We have 20,000 pounds of it in each one of those GAC vessels. It's like you use for your fish tank or something. GAC. G-A-C. It stands for granular activated carbon, like in a fish tank filter, or the whole house filters Wolverine installed in hundreds of contaminated homes in Algoma and Plainfield townships, only with tanks as tall as a two-story house. The Air Force built this plant three years ago, right on top of a PFAS-choked plume of groundwater. There was a plume emanating from a former fire training area that the Air Force used firefighting foam at for years and years. It was the fire training pit where Wardsmith firefighters used PFAS foam to practice putting out jet fuel fires until the early 1990s. The PFAS flows from that pit toward Clark's Marsh, not far away, where the fish are filled with the likely carcinogen. Well, you can't eat the fish. You can't even eat, you're not supposed to eat even one of those fish. Well, thank you very much for that, Kathy. Here, residents complain that the Air Force and state are not doing enough to clean the contamination discovered eight years ago. The chemical has also flowed off base in other directions and into wells. It foams up on a nearby lake. So far, though, it's just the bad water flowing into Clark's Marsh that the Air Force filters are cleaning. Seven extraction wells tapped 60 feet into the groundwater form an underground wall, kind of like a good defensive line in football. The PFAS water headed for that marsh is instead sucked into a massive tank. And then it goes through the carbon filters, which are 20,000 pounds of activated carbon. Okay. They're operated in series, so it goes through one and then the other. About 240 gallons a minute. Then it's piped back out on the other side of that defensive line and into the groundwater bound for the marsh. Every three months or so, he says, Calgon Carbon vacuums out the coal from one of the tanks and incinerates the PFAS right out of it at a cost of 30 grand a trip. This isn't cheap. No, it's not. More proof that it works, he says. When it started, the water came into the plant with a PFAS count of 10,000 parts per trillion, far above the danger level. Now, he says, it's less than half that. So what is that saying about what this system is doing? Well, it's working. <laughs> yeah? Yeah. The state says it's too soon to know if any of this would work for Wolverine. It could depend on geology and what else is in the water. So we're, you know, looking at all sorts of options. We, in Rockford, um, as in here, we, you heard him talk about several different potential options here. So we, we aren't sure what the solution is going to be yet. Um, we aren't sure how effective those options are going to be and which one will be best, but we're going to work on it. Wolverine's PFAS is from the Scotchgard it used to treat shoes at its tannery in Rockford. It dumped it in sludge at landfills and on farm fields decades ago. Wolverine's PFAS zone has grown to five miles long and five miles wide, roughly twice the Wordsmith area. It has spread into 400 wells in Algoma and Plainfield townships, some with the highest PFAS levels anyone has ever seen, far higher than at Wordsmith. The levels are highest at Wolverine's old tannery site, and it's leaking into the Rogue River. I, I guess I don't understand why it wouldn't work in a place like the Rockford area with the Wolverine. Depends on the size of the plume, how many of these you would need. Yeah. But the Air Force says its fish tank system isn't a quick fix. What we're looking at is it takes, you know, many years. So, so it's not, this is not short term. No. In the face of pressure from the state, the Air Force says it plans to build a second treatment plant at Wordsmith twice the size of the first on top of an, another plume of bad groundwater. It hopes to start using that in August. I'm Target Investigator Ken Colker. Target 8 continues to follow the toxic tap water crisis in West Michigan. You can find all of those stories on our website at woodtv.com and our mobile app.